Hello students, I am back with the next video of your maths chapter number 1, Geometrical Figures. In last video, what we have learned? We have learned about angles. What do you mean by angle? To define angle, we have learned that when two lines meet at one point, then the angle is formed. There are three types of angles which we have learned in this chapter. That is right angle, acute angle and obtuse angle. Now we will continue with the next subtopic. But before starting with the new topic, before introducing the new topic, I just feel that in this lockdown situation, I sometimes think about some objects and some things. Objects? like this yummy cheesy pizza and what about this chocolate cake i really miss this chocolate cake in this lockdown situation and sometimes i just feel like blowing bubbles in the air but i know it's not possible right now and you know the most amazing thing which i feel to just take a ride in this giant wheel now, you must be wondering what happened to our teacher, why she is talking about such objects. So, students, what is common in all this object? Guess? I think you guessed it. Yes, the common thing in all the objects was circle. The shapes, the shape of that all the objects is a Cake, the giant wheel, the bubbles, they all were in that round shape, the circular shape. So, today we are going to talk about circle. The new topic is circle. So, what is the circle to define? Come, let's start with circle. To define circle, circle. A circle is a closed figure made up of only one curved line. So circle, the definition of circle says that it is made up of one curved line. In day to day life, we see many different objects. You can see this circle, the round shape, one curved line. One more, the regular thing, the plates which we use at home, the utensils, round in shape. There are many objects like small toys. Even, you can see the dial of my watch is in circular shape. There are many different ways to draw circle. Today, we are going to learn how we can draw a circle with the help of this compass. What do we say? Compass or rounder also we see it, but generally the scientific word, the mathematical word is compass. This is metal arm and this one is pencil arm. I'll show you in the next video how to draw circle with this compass. For right now, we will understand the different parts of circle. As we all know the definition of circle, now we will understand the different parts of circle. Parts of circle. The first part is center, radius, called diameter. We will repeat once again. Center, radius, called diameter. Now we will understand these parts one by one. The first part of circle that is center. The center is the point inside a circle that is at the same distance from each point on the circle. This is the definition of center. So to understand it more clearly, I'll make sure that there is some points on the circle. See, I am just making marking some points on a circle. 
So, if I draw a line from the center point to this point which is on the circle, this line or again this one, this one. Here you will see this all lines are of equal length. So, if I say this is of 5 cm, then this is also of 5 cm. Any line which is drawn from center to point on a circle, it is of equal length. When we use a rounder, that is a compass. So here the compass is also placed from one point and then we draw a circle. We place this pencil inside this, in this pencil arm and then we draw a circle. So this is the center and then we draw a circle by just rotating this compass. Now, to understand it more clear, let us take one chart paper of a circle. I am just folding it into, see, this is, this is the shape, semicircle. Now, I will fold it, one more fold. Now, this is a quarter, just like the pizza one. Now, when I open this here, show you here this all four lines are joining at one point this is center so this all lines are of equal length to define the second part of the circle that is radius radius a line segment joining the center to any point on the circle. So now I will draw the radius on this circle. If this is the point on the circle and I am just drawing a line, a line segment joining the center and the point on the circle. So this is called as radius. What do we call? Radius. We can draw infinite number of radius just like the spokes which we have on a wheel, bicycle wheel or else we can just consider the Ashok Chakra which is there in a flag. There are spokes, 24 lines are there. So that is also radius that is joining from the center to any point on the circle. Now, when it is one line, that is one line, it is called as radius. And when there it is number of like many numbers of radius, then it is called as like that. Singular radius. Singular, we call it as radius. And when it is plural form, it is a type. The third one called a line segment that joins two points on a circle. The definition says when a line segment joins the two points. I draw one point here and one point over here. I just draw one line segment from one point that is two points on the circle. I do. Now, see the definition. Two points on the circle and there is line. So, this is called as chord. But, there are different number of chords which we can, infinite you can see, infinite chords we can draw and of different lengths. See, now for example, if I am drawing one point over here and one over here, then, see, I can draw this chord. Again, if I am joining this point and this point, a smaller one, a very smaller one. So, infinite number of chords can be drawn on a circle. Diameter. A line segment that joins two points on a circle which passes through the center. Here we will find some 
similarity with the radius. The same statement, a line segment that joins two points. I'll draw two points. And when I join these two points, join these two points, one point and the second point. When I am drawing this line, it is passing through the center. It is passing through the center. So, when I say, when it is passing through the center, if I just uh, hide the, this part. So, from this center to this point of the circle, it forms a radius. Can you remember the statement? The center point, the line from the center and the point on the circle, it is radius. So here is one radius. Again here is one radius. So can I say that diameter is equal to 2 into radius. Right? And I can also say that Diameter is the longest chord. Why it is longest? Yes, when it is passing through the center. So this is also called as chord. So all diameters are called chord, but not all chords are diameter. Why? Because that all chords are not passing through the center. The diameter is the only one which is passing through the center. I hope you all understood these four parts of the circle which are the center, then radius, it is given name center, radius, then we have learnt about chord. Chord, the two points on the circle. And the last one which we have learned is diameter which is passing through the center. That is, so P, C, Q, the two points of the circle and it is passing through the center. Let's review what we have studied in this video. The first image says there is one point. Yes, which part is this? This is center, which is the center. Now we can see one line from center to the point on the circle. This part is called radius. The third one line is drawn from one point to the other point on a circle. There are two points and line is drawn. Yes? Can you guess? Yes. It is a chord. Now, the longest chord when a line joining the two points on the circle but when it is passing through the Center. What we say it is called as diameter. It is called as diameter. So we'll say once once again center, radius, chord, diameter. And one more thing to understand this the full boundary of a circle. Is called as circumference. It is called as circumference. You will be learning this as you go to higher standard. The boundary of a circle, the full length of a circle, this boundary is called as circumference. So, students, I hope you all understood this topic of circle. Please go through the video and understand it more clearly.
Bye.